It only takes one person, y'all, to ruin it for everybody. Unless they're an actor, and because you know some girls will be weird. It's just always something with these people, like it's better than some of these high quality brands or popular people. I'm just saying. No. You can't you stop. Can't. You can't stop the right. You can't stop no. the right. You no. can't. You can't stop the right. Hey, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to Mix with Ken. If you are new here, I am Ken. Welcome to another one of my videos, you guys. Oh, sorry, I'm back with a new video, y'all. If you are new here, y'all, make sure you join the Ken crew, the Ken way or no way. Okay. Y'all know the vibes. Um, today I'm back with a new video, y'all. Today is a nail tech kind of video, y'all. So don't mind my nails. I got one nail on this one so trying to get off. And I got this whole hand still on. Y'all know how it be when you a nail tech. Okay, anyways, these are my pride nails, so I made a reel, if you follow me on, let me see, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know, you already seen these, I did some pride nails, so it was like a little rainbow with my nails, but yeah, y'all, it is time now for some spring nails, and I don't you think my next set is gonna be like lime green, not even gonna lie, lime green or orange, cause it's like summer, or even like the neon yellow. I don't know. It just depends on the vibe I'll be in, y'all, when I sit down. I'm my phone on charge because it's about to go dead. And I, I got, I'm leaving. I'm leaving soon. Anyways, though. So, yeah, y'all. Today, I'm hopping this video be real quick for you guys. I got 10 um, do's. Five do's and five don'ts. I got 10 total for you guys. Do's and don'ts as a nail tick, y'all. And this is not do's and don'ts like... As far as like what you shouldn't do and what you should do as far as just like materials or tools or stuff like that. Or it's trying to tell you. Sorry y'all. I took some shots. So if I'm a little lit, that's why. But anyways, um, what was I to say? Um, this is not just like trying to tell you what to do. Basically, these are just some do's and don'ts that I could recommend for you guys. And so hopefully it'll help you guys out. And, you know, just remember, before I get to this video, y'all, being a nail tech, y'all, is all about just being super creative and just being able to express yourself, I feel like, through a nail art form. Nail is an art. So, at the end of the day, y'all, please keep that in mind when you are listening to do's and don'ts and ways you shouldn't do this and ways you should do that. Please remember, y'all, that being a nail tech is definitely an art and you can express that in any way shape or form that you choose to do so so don't let anybody tell you otherwise period so let's go ahead and hop into this video y'all i'm gonna start with the dudes y'all i'm gonna start with the dudes i'm gonna start with the good news first y'all i'm gonna start with the dudes y'all i'm gonna start with the good news first so basically i have five dudes i might mix them up some of them might overlap because they might correlate in some way um but i'm gonna just go ahead and grab my phone's on the charger y'all it's a little ghetto but I'm leaving soon and I want my phone to be there. So we gotta, we gotta do what I do. So nail tech do's and don't video. For one, y'all, this is a big no no. Big, 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 big no no. Do not accept Cash App, y'all. I don't care what nobody say. Like, I don't care what nobody say, y'all. As a business owner, you should really not be accepting Cash App, especially this day and age especially when um especially when i feel like you're like trying to be professional at least i feel like you should not be using cash app y'all for many reasons not because it's not professional and like it's a bad thing i'm saying no don't take cash app to, for your own protection for your own sake Every person you see, a lot of um, hairstyles and stuff, they say do not, they don't accept nothing but cash, straight up. Like, give me my money in my hand because clients, y'all, be playing. Clients be freaking playing, okay? So, sometimes it's like you have those good clients that you're really, really cool with, your regulars. Of course, if you know them and you feel like this is how you can really trust y'all. And, like, you're going to build those relationships with your clients. You're going to know if it's, like, your regular. You're going to know if it's, like... This your dog, like they would they wouldn't do you wrong. I feel like you're gonna know this. Um unless they're an actor and cause you know some girls do be weird. Okay. Anyways, um, but basically I only accept Cash App, y'all. It feels like my regular. Like she been coming to me for a long I think I've literally only accepted Cash App from like two of my clients. Like still to this day, they could cash out me because I maybe like maybe three of them. 
Actually, they cashed at me before. We've never had no problems. They're my regulars. They come all the time. Like, I know they're going to be back. Like, those are the only people, y'all, that I accept cash app from. Randoms do not accept cash app, y'all. They will dispute the charge. People will dispute the charge. Maybe like, literally, y'all, I had a whole ass conversation with one of my clients, y'all. I recorded one of my clients. Said, actually, like, literally, this girl said it's on my YouTube channel. Like, it's one of my videos, y'all. This girl cashed at me, y'all. And then, literally, like, a month later, y'all. Not even, like, the same week. A month later, y'all, this girl fucking disputed the charge, y'all. Disputed the charge on Cash App. When I say I was pissed, because for one, like, y'all literally recorded this whole set, posted on my page. The set was fucking fire. Like, I was just starting out as a nail tech, maybe, like, mm, a year in almost. And this is when I'm first starting to, like, really, really get clients and really starting to get booked. Y'all, this girl disputed the charge, y'all. Disputed the charge. No remorse either, like... No remorse. Like, I never saw her again, y'all. We had a full-fledged conversation. Like, definitely thought this girl was going to be my regular, y'all. It took one person to the street of charge on Cash App for me to say, nobody else could use Cash App. Like, that's it, baby. It just takes one to ruin it. I never remember, uh, knew what the teachers would say when they say, it only takes one person to ruin it for the group. It only takes one person, y'all, to ruin it for everybody. After that, Cash App was off my website. Strictly Zelle, strictly Apple Pay. I do take cash. Things that you can't really dispute. Zelle, Apple Pay, cash are really the only three I can take. I take. If you don't have cash, you don't have Apple Pay, or you don't have, everybody got an iPhone at this day age. So, Apple Pay and Zelle. If you got a regular bank account, you have an actual bank account, a legit bank account, you have Zelle. You should have one of the three, y'all. So, do not accept cash app, okay? So many other ways to get paid. Number two, y'all. This was like a controversy. Hold on. That's my phone up here. Y'all, this was literally like a controversy on Instagram one, around one time with the nail ticks and um on, on Twitter. And it was like, I mean on Instagram and it was talking about like basically y'all do not talk about your clients to other clients, okay? Do not talk about other nail ticks to your clients. Y'all, people will go back and repeat what you said, and you gonna reference a story, you know, you venting or whatever gossip. You Sally. Sally pissed me off. Sally came up in here and Sally da da da, da if you just gotta talk about it, okay? I'm not telling you what to do or not to you grow. If you wanna talk about that with your client, talk about that with your client. I got certain clients that I talk to about all my little tea, y'all. Like, they tell me they tea, I tell them my tea. So if a customer came in there and you did some shit to me or you pissed me off or a nail tech did some weird shit or whatever or something happened, I'm probably gonna tell my certain little three or four clients, I'm not gonna lie. But I typically do not give names. Um, I typically might be like this girl or something like that, y'all. Do not talk about other clients, other clients. For one, you never know who knows somebody. But two, motherfuckers is messy, y'all. Like, they will literally, especially if you got a little clout, they will literally try to gaslight that. They will literally try to milk that and get fucking clout off of your name. Like, acting like or trying to get cool in another circle with the other group of popular people or trying to get cool. y'all it just be people will do anything for cloud people will do anything for attention y'all so please y'all do not talk about y'all's clients the clients do not talk about the other nail takes the nail takes this was like a whole thing on twitter i think one time i saw another nail tech talk about another nail tech nail takes you know on instagram these other nail takes be talking she like doing this whole shebang on instagram and i'm just all because of what a client he said she said that it got back to another nail tech and it's just like they basically were saying like you a nail tech you shouldn't be talking shit about other nail techs da, 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 da. And just all this other shit that, that was going on y'all so, just to avoid all that, y'all, if you got a vent, use another name or just point blank period. Don't talk about no clients or no nail takes to no other clients or to no other nail takes. People do be talking and people do be messy. Y'all, do not let the clients tell you what to do. Oh, you're going to shake this on the side. Oh, you're going to, uh, uh, or can you, uh, uh. Do you want to do it? Because, I mean, I could do it. But do you want to do it? Because you in my chair, but you trying to tell me how to shape it, how to curve it, how to drill it, how to hold your hand, how to design it. Are you going to put a little glitter on this side? Are you going to throw Okay. Like, 
Don't let them tell you what to do, y'all. This is your creativity zone. This is your area. If they don't like the way you do nails, there's other nail techs they can go find. There's other nail techs they can go book. So for your sake, if you don't like my work, then go find somebody else because this is my creative art. That's what I was saying earlier. This is an art. So if you add a little one so it's not perfect or you feel like this your this shit and they get the critique in it uh, uh, and they don't, are you the nail tech or me? Because I be having some girls trying to tell me how to do my job. Are you going to bust that down? Like, yeah, baby, we ain't even got to, we ain't even got to the buffet station yet. Like, let me, I got this, baby. You're the one with the experience, y'all. Don't let them tell you what to do. Don't let them boss you around. It's your show running. Obviously, I'm not saying, like, just blatantly know your clients. You're like, oh, can you file it down a little bit? Of course, I'm going to file it down. Or can you make this shape a little? Of course, I'm going to make the shape whatever you want it to be. But don't tell me how to do it. Are you going to drill that down, baby? We haven't got to the drill stage. Let me drill it down. Let I got this. Let me do it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's your show. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. You you do it. Um, And that goes not only for clients, y'all. That goes for other nail techs. I feel like other nail techs, they go to nail school or they take a class or whatever or they've been doing nails for this year and they trying to tell you, oh, you should be using your brush this way. You should be using your drill this way. Oh, you should be fouling left to right and not right. It's just always something with these people. Like, it's an art. Everybody's not going to do it the exact same. There's not one way to do nails. So, please do not let people bully y'all into doing what they want you to do. Do it how you want to. This is your art. You do it. How you want to do it. If they don't like it, they can go to another nail tech. If that nail tech don't like your work or how you lay an acrylic, they can go unfollow you. They can go look at another nail tech. They, they don't, y'all see how that works? You can unfollow, blind, you can close your eyes, you can keep strolling, you can act like you never seen it, but you're not going to tell me how to do my job. Like, make it make sense. Ew, the ghetto. Um, this one fell in the category with the don't talk to your clients about other clients. I also said this one too. Don't talk about the nail text and nail text, y'all. I already went over that. It just gets a little crazy. Um, for the last one I have for you guys was don't let these nail brands fool you. Do not let these um, people say, oh, I got the best acrylic. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got that, y'all. Oh, I, this acrylic, not this. This acrylic, not that. Or this, my, like, y'all. Try it for yourself. There's not one way. There's not. Just because you use Young Nails and you die hard by Young Nails don't mean Young Nails the only monitor. You, these are these the only monitor you should be using. Use any fucking monitor you, that works for you. Because this, this is my stuff. But they be on the time to tell you, oh, you shouldn't be using this brand. You should be using this brand. Oh, this top coat. I like the way this top coat shines. So, again, don't let nobody bully you into your craft. Just your craft. Do what you need to do. Do what you like to do. And, um... Do your research. Sometimes just because it's name brand um, nail products don't mean it's the best product. Just because it says certain name and certain brand don't mean it's the best product. You might like your local nail supply. Like me personally, I love my local nail supply monomer. The absolute best monomer, not no name brand, high class. Like the absolute best monomer. They know that they know they shit is good because they, they charge your arm and leg for it, okay? They know that they have quality, quality, quality monomer. And I love them. I love them for that. I love their monomer. I go all the time to buy their shit. It's always sold out. But I'd rather buy their monomer, honestly, over some of the bigger brands. Like, I really like their monomer. You sometimes these local nail supply brands and your local just great Amazon finds are better than some of these high quality brands or popular people. I'm just saying. Anywho. Alright y'all. So dudes y'all. Dudes for being a nail tech y'all. Be teachable. Be teachable. Um, be open to learning new things. When I first thought I was like I'm not doing no nail art. I don't like drawing. I'm never going to draw. I'm not going to draw. Be teachable y'all. I'm learning now that being teachable means I have different lanes of nails i can do i can do marble i can draw i can do french chip i can shape that gives me more clientele to bring in more revenue okay more coins more money um so basically y'all be open to um being te being taught just because you've been doing nails don't mean just because you've been doing nails for so long don't mean you can't be taught something else for me personally i do nails i do a pretty good job of doing nails i think but i know there's certain things that i could be taught I could be taught better diamond placement. I could be drawing some like, I could be um, taught some uh, diamond placements. I could be taught how to draw a little better, what brushes to use, maybe maybe some um, paints or some better, you know, drawing hacks that I could use. Um, 
I'm even open to getting my nails to last longer. If if can be, I'm open to learning that. There's so many things that I'm open to learning. So um, be teachable, y'all. Be open to learning. Don't be thinking you know everything. Don't be stuck up, y'all. Don't be rude. Be open to being taught. But at the end of the day, remember it's your shit. So be teachable. Be teachable. Be teachable. After that, for dues, I have invest back in your brain, y'all. Do, 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 do. Invest back in your brain. If you've been doing this for a year, there's no re and you started with no desk, and you got a full clientele list, and you got this, got that, there's no reason why you shouldn't have a desk and two comfortable chairs for you to work in and your client. There's no reason. Invest back into your brain, y'all. Let the, your customers know that I appreciate y'all, and I'm going to continue to upgrade and give y'all a luxury service. Like I'm going to continue to try to make y'all service better. Y'all making me better. Y'all making my life better. Y'all making my financial situation better. By coming and booking with me, so I'm going to make y'all experience here better. Better. So I, it's a give and take, and when you're in a business, and they're giving you that, so you should be able to take a little bit from your funds, from your Dior bag, your designer, whatever else you're spending your money on, and put it back into your brand and give them what they're giving you. So, y'all, please invest back in your brand, y'all. Please. Um, y'all, another thing is revamp as needed. Like I just said, put back into your brand, revamp, rebrand. Um, you started a long time ago and your brand was giving Dora the Explorer a little, you know, maybe kitty vibes or you started your brand when you were 16, but now you're 24, now you're 20 and you want to upgrade. You want a more modern, more sleek look, more um, trendy, you know, everybody's with the new, the nudes and the topes and stuff like that. So, oh, that's needed. Like, she old shit. You can do whatever you want to do. You can change your clothes if you want to. You can delete all your content and start over if you wanted to. You can shift your um revamp and make it all used to do um only acrylic revamp add gel add toes um add if I, you want to add a requirement okay but now i'm only servicing 20 and up i'm only servicing 18 and up change your caliber of clientele this is your brand revamp rebrand as needed okay um this another one dudes y'all another another do stay with the freaking trend y'all Stay with the trends. That's gonna get you clientele. Once the airbrush came out, I feel like I kind of messed up on this part. I didn't stay with the nail trends. I was just doing what I knew, you know, da da da. But girls like trendy nails. It's clothing has a trend. Hair has a trend. The girls who was doing sewings had to learn frontals. It's the same thing now. The girls that was doing uh polish only now have to learn how to do acrylic, have to learn how to do gel. The nail industry is the same way, y'all. Make sure that you're being teachable and that you're staying with those trends. Staying with those trends will keep clientele coming in. On top of that, it makes you versatile. It makes you be able to let your clients know I can draw, I can do powder, I can do acrylic, I can do manicures, I can do it all. I can do toes, I can do whatever. So I can do airbrush, I can do nail piercings, I can do 3D nail art. Make sure you stay with those trends so that it keeps your revenue coming in because they'll be able to know, hey, she can do whatever. Basically, I take to her and it's going gonna, it's gonna to shake. Cool. So, another one is dudes. Do have, I said this in like every video, do have multiple platforms, not just social media. Foot action, word of mouth, passing out business cards, going to the old faithful way, um, networking events, pop-up shops. Um, foot action only, not only to me means like basically getting out there, not only just on social media, y'all. Be versatile on how you market because that's going to get busy. And your nail tech is also a business mindset and it's also about the brand, okay? So, um, it's not just doing nails all day, okay? You could do nails all day, but who going to know you do nails? How they going to know you do nails? Okay, what if I don't have Instagram? What if I'm not on social media? How else are these people going to find out about your brand? You know what I'm saying? So, make sure... You do have multiple ways to reach people. If social media shut down today, how would your clients know that you're still taking bookings? Think about that. All right, y'all. Well, yep. Those are all of my do's and my don'ts, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I haven't been doing many nail tech videos for you guys. And y'all been like, baby, do some nail videos. Because we bored. We, we need the nail content. So, I'm going to give y'all girls the nail content. Um, but, yeah, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching another one of my videos, you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys like and leave a comment in the comment if you guys like this video. I can do more of these kind of videos for you guys. Um, but, yeah. I am out of here. Y'all got to get dressed. Your girl about to go to dinner. Hmm. 
Anywho, but yeah, signing out, y'all, and next weekend.